There are a lot of dictionary definitions of the word hope, either the noun or the verb. When I think about some of the latest uses of the word in media, politics, sports, rallying, I'm reduced to thinking about hope in a statistical manner. For pure visualization of the word, I turn to the statistical exercise of the gambler's fallacy. A coin, when flipped, can only have one of two outcomes, a head or a tails. Probability of either is 50%. Period. End of argument. Now let's say I flip this coin 10 times and every time it comes up heads. What do you think the likelihood of tails on the next flip would be? Well, I can certainly see hedging our bets towards tails. I can see believing that over a great number of trials, the percentages one way or the other will regress to the mean. And hoping the next coin toss will produce a tails. But in reality, the odds of the 11th flip happening uh, to get, produce a tail are no different than the first toss. 50%, period, end of argument. It's the same as thinking a batter for the St. Louis Cardinals, who happens to be a 300 hitter, after three strikeouts is due for a hit. No, he's not. He's still a 30% probability hitter. Or maybe even a little less, since we have to add those three strikeouts into his data. Hope, to me, is an expectation. And expectation is the root cause of all frustration. If I can just stop expecting, then maybe I don't live such a frustrating existence. So, you bet the farm on this 11th coin toss, expecting, hoping, for a tails. And it's another heads. Tell me you're not frustrated. Our problem with the coin toss and the baseball player's probability of a hit in his next at bat is our interpretation of the data. We have a perception that the next coin toss should pay off. This is where I think hope becomes a fantasy. And we get lucky often enough to start believing that it works. Or unlucky enough to believe it never works. Either way, that's called a superstition. And that's how gamblers get hooked. But where hope is lacking, growing up in North St. Louis and North St. Louis County, or the violent sections of some of our country cities, for example, I can see that many have no hope. There are no tails in this coin. In other words, instead of inventing possibilities that aren't there, they can't see the possibilities when they are statistically there. Their perception of reality is that there will never be a tails. And I don't see that as accurate either. It's Kim, and this is another moment of clarity.